Hey everyone, I started talking to a few people on my team and I've actually heard this outside of my team that there's a lot of coaches out there who understand the business opportunity. They have a love and loyalty to our products and they have started their journey and they've had great results along the way and they want to share their transformation and their progress pictures and they have challengers in their challenge group that have given them permission to share their results but they don't know how to make them stand out. I know you've seen coaches out there within our organization that post the same picture that has been taken off the Team Beach Body 411 page or the Beach Body Challenge page or different things like that and they become white noise in people's news feed. They do not stick out. They become ignored. They become annoying to other people. So I'm going to teach you how to make pictures pop, to make things stand out, to personalize things and make it unique so that people don't think you're just another boring coach sharing the same thing or copying and pasting the same verbiage from the website. I am going to show you also, as an example while we're doing this, some of the things I have on my phone because a lot of people want to know the apps I use and the social media site. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So I have my phone hooked up right now to the iPhoto. I'm going to select these pictures because we're going to make a collage. I'm going to import them to my computer, and obviously if you don't have an Apple, you, this is not going to be the same, but I'm giving you an example. So we have all these pictures here. I'm going to do a collage to show other people what apps I use, what they're for, and then I'm going to use the website that I pretty much use 90% of the time. It's pickmonkey.com. This is the website that makes things look more professional. It's so much easier to use than to use a you know, picture collage app on your phone. You can use that. I've done it before. But once I found PickMonkey and made friends with it and got practice with it, it became easier. So if you're going to do a collage, where you're using more than one picture, you're gonna hit click collage. If you're going to do one picture and add some you know, designs on it, then you'll click edit. So I'm gonna do a collage. So right there, it pulls up everything on my computer. I'm gonna click on photos, and then last import. You can grab one at a time and click choose, or you can just highlight all of them and click choose so they're all in there at once. So, Here's all your pictures. You can always add more if you want from your computer. Here is all of the options you have to make a collage. So you have this where you can do up to, I believe, five pictures. They have the four by eight with different, uh, different uh, layouts. I'm trying to find one that's going to fit what I am trying to do. Let's see. And, and I will say, this does take practice getting used to this. It does uh, definitely become a task. But, you know, if you're trying to market your business and you're trying to gain a following, you want to do things where you're educating people, where you're sharing things with people, and you're helping them out. Let's see. I think this one may work. And it takes a while to practice with this. Okay, so now that I've selected the collage layout, I'll go back up here and I'm going to take each picture and drag them right there, right there, right there, and I'm going to click out of this box and add this one. And you can drag it down so it fits like that. Also, if you want to be able to type something in, in your own words, this right here is going to stay white. So here are your selections of swatches, which are basically backgrounds. I always use black. Black's my favorite color. It's easy. Under school, you, you can add the black background. What I like about this is you can also scooch it up a little bit and then move that. That way, everything on my screen right there is being shown. Now you will go to this for the background. I don't like all the big wide uh, chunks there so I 
made the spacing smaller and then I did the background black or you can go transparent where you do not have any um, you know area around there you can also take the corners and round them if you want to it really doesn't matter it's up to you and you will get better you know with time and with practice so there's that now once you're done with this you can click edit once you hit edit there you cannot go back and do anything different so make sure that you are done with whatever placement you want with the pictures make sure that you are um, happy with the the background layout I'm going to actually make this a little bit bigger bring that over there you know you want like I said you will get better with this in time with experience just as with anything but you know the biggest thing is trying to make it look like you did it and not maybe a kindergartner in the beginning I look more like a kindergartner so like I said be patient with yourself know that this takes time and you will get better but I try to even things out so it doesn't look like a bunch of screenshots necessarily I want to even that up there so it's all pretty much even okay now I'm gonna hit edit and now it's completely done sometimes I add around around the edge a frame that way it just kind of nice and makes it nice and neat so right there and you can add that this is the one I usually use Trying to see how that looks on this one. Not sure if I like it on there. You can do photo corners, like a mat. I don't like the way that looks on there at all, I don't think. And see, like I said, you just want to play around and click on each thing to see how it looks. Sometimes it's surprising how things look that you did, wouldn't have actually thought about. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do that one. So once you've selected a, you know, the, the uh, frame, you click apply and then it's stuck on there. And then for me, I click on text to add whatever I want to write on. Here's the overlays. The great thing is that, for instance, you click on your own and you want to select something from your from your computer you can do an overlay like say I wanted to do the team relentless logo where is it at so say I wanted to add that you click on there and open and this is where you would you would place it wherever you want so that's pretty cool that you can add something in whether it was you're recognizing somebody for diamond going diamond and you wanted to put a diamond in there and it's obviously not in the graphics you can do that then you click delete if you decide you don't want to do that so for the text um, say I want to use that font there are several different fonts you click on add text it's gonna pull up this box because right here if you're gonna typing in it you see it's not showing up because the default color is black so you're not going to see it. So you'd want to select white or some other color that pops on a black background. We'll name it Mindy's favorite apps. We'll leave iPhone, I guess, that way people know this is an iPhone, so they don't always go looking for a droid and not be there. So then you, I always center it so it looks neat. You can make it big or little. And if ever it overlapped and you wanted to make it bigger like that, you can. This, just an FYI, is only available online through a website. There is not an app. A lot of people ask, have asked that. So there is that. You can see how it looks. Let's see how that looks. I always go through the different um, fonts to see what looks the best. And I think I like that one. So 
Once that's done, I'm not going to finish this, so this takes a really long time while you're watching me, but you have a general idea. Um, anytime you, there's themes here, like we have Valentine's Day coming up, if you wanted to do a collage, because uh, there's the Facebook cover um, collage layout, then you could basically do something for sweethearts, or you know, when there's a celebration, I like this one, because you can do um, like stars and celebration, and they even give you the uh, text that looks the, the font that looks best with that. So this is really a great tool. And then at the end, you would click save and save to my computer. You can save it wherever you want. And then you can you can basically upload it to Facebook or whatever social media site you d decide you want to use. So while we're at it, since we're on this subject, I'm going to share with you what my favorite social or what my favorite apps are and social media websites. So we're looking here at my phone. What I use regularly is Facebook. Facebook is how I give my message to the world, how I connect with other people, and how I run my challenge groups through private groups. I really like this Time Hop app because it's really neat. Because, you know, I've been a coach for three years, and I'm like, oh, man, I remember this great post that I did. And then, like, for me, the month of February is when I started my journey. So it's really great to be able to each day click on that, and it opens up your app. And for as long as you've been on Facebook, it pulls your Post that you made on this same exact day a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, whatever, however long you had a Facebook. And what's great is they have a collage now where you can actually open it up at a then, which whatever year it was that you're posting from, and then a now picture and compare. I've been doing that with Rebel. It's pretty cool to see how much he's changed. For me, I like connecting with people who are. Uh, a lot like me or moms, and that's who I connect with most because I'm a mom. So I've been using Smile Mom. You can go in and you can find mothers with kids your age or you know mothers in your surrounding area. So this helps you if you're a coach, connect with other people that you know you can relate to and you can help. I of course use YouTube to upload all my videos. Like this one is gonna be uploaded to YouTube. I use the messenger because now I don't know, apparently everybody's upset about that. I'm not really sure what they're upset about, but something about they know your information. I don't know, but I use a messenger because it's easier to message people back and forth. Twitter, I signed up for a long time. I share stuff from my Instagram to my Twitter account, but I really don't know how to tweet. And if, if you've ever been on Twitter, you will know why. I talk a lot and it's very hard to limit it to like, I think like 250 characters. So you can only imagine that. Um, podcast. I listen to Shalene Johnson, Build Your Tribe podcast. And I also listen to the Team Beachbody podcast because those are great to learn from other coaches, great to get the motivation. And Shalene Johnson is an awesome uh, woman entrepreneur. And she is so gracious about telling you all of her tips and, and things that she has learned and the mistakes she's made along the way that have made her a better leader, a better trainer, a better mentor. And so when I put on makeup on in the morning, I listen to that. So I'm going to go over here to the photography. Okay. So if you're trying to make like a slideshow with transformations or, you know, I threw a Christmas party for Team Relentless and we had it out at Royer's Cafe in Round Top because one of the coaches that is on my team, they, her, uh, her husband and their family own this amazing, amazing cafe with amazing pies. So we had it out there. Well, you know, I posted all the pictures, but I was like, I want to see something where I see all of them. So Flipagram is a great Great tool. You upload all your pictures and it becomes a slideshow video. However, do not add the music to it and post the, the video that saves to your phone directly to Facebook if you have music on there that's copyrighted because they will remove it and you can get banned from posting videos for, on Facebook for a certain amount of time. I haven't used Camera Plus in a long time, but I really have always liked it if you're taking pictures of sunset, beaches, or things with like bright colors because you can really make them pop. Instasize is great because I noticed that like Facebook, the, pro the profile picture has to be a certain size or they don't fit. Like they cut your legs off or your head off or something. So you can take this and upload your picture to it and then make it where it's small enough where it fits, where it fits on, um, you know, your profile picture. Or if you're just trying to make something smaller, you can also use it to make a collage and, you know, add different stuff. The fonts on there are horrible, I think. But Anyways, I use that. This Rona Designs, this is great because they have awesome little things and things that you can are put as an overlay on your picture. The biggest thing about social media is when you see a picture on Pinterest, when you see a picture on 
uh, you know, your news feed or something with this amazing quote and you want to share that with the world because it, you know, just, you know, says your name all over it. And it's what you're trying to, you know, share with the world. Don't just share that picture. Take a picture of yourself or find another picture and you put this saying on there. And so Rona Designs is kind of great because they have some of these great quotes, but you can personalize it with one of your pictures or a picture of yourself. And, you know, you can add in your Facebook link or, you know, don't put your beach body uh, coach account link because that looks very salesy, but you know, put your link to what your Facebook is so that if it gets shared, you're, they reference back to you, your page, you know, if it, especially if it's your results. Photify is another one of those. It's a great, you can make collages and it also helps it where you can um, do little overlays and stuff too. I don't like Photify personally unless you pay for it. You can remove the watermark so every picture you have out there says Photify at the bottom. So that's why I use PicMonkey.com. iMovie. This is where you can create movies, change the colors of it a little bit so it looks more professional, add a title to it. I use that off of my iPhone. Pick Play Post. This is great for if you're doing things on Instagram. This I know is what Melissa and McAllister uses. You can do like a 15 second video shot plus two pictures of yourself. So when you're working out and then you want to demonstrate a move, you can do a video plus do still shots of it or whatever you decide to do. I've done ones where I'm making omelets or, you know, drinking a shake and I want a video along with, you know, still pictures there. So that is a great app. I have this one, which is Dropbox and Evernote. So you have these things that are documents on your phone and you use them and copy and paste them and send them to people or use them for trainings. And then you leave your house one day and you're like, oh my God, what do I do? Because it's all on my computer or, you know, for the fact that what if your computer crashes? I love Evernote and Dropbox. Evernote, you can put documents in there that are like a Word document. You can open it up from a computer or from an app on your tablet or your you know, iPhone or smartphone. And it's all there. You don't risk losing it, and you don't have to be exactly where you're, where it was saved at. You can be anywhere, traveling, you know, back and forth using it. Same thing with Dropbox. I upload all of my personal development books, my documents, my pictures, my videos, things that I know that I want to be able to access while I'm away from home, or the things that I want to share with people on my team, and I don't want to have to be near my computer. Lastly. I found that these work. I don't use my fitness pal anymore because I use the 21 day fix containers. You don't ever have to count calories again once you own the 21 day fix, but some people do, or they like to have a log where it's right in front of them. I use my fitness pal. I also use the food scores and food to, to be able to like, when you're at the grocery store, scan the barcode of food and be able, it will to put you up right there to see it gives it a grade or a score so you know if it's actually healthy because just because the box appears to be healthy or you know has some verbiage out there that you would it's, it's very misleading is what I'm saying is that don't trust the boxes and you, not everybody has time to sit there and read every ingredient on you know the label to see if it actually is something that falls within you know our clean eating guidelines that we are you know living by to have a better you know health and achieve our weight loss goals so this is just kind of like a little trip trick and trade secret from you know other coaches uh, from one to the other so Pinterest is another one that you know I mentioned earlier go there find some motivational quotes or different things and you can get ideas from there you can also find 21 day fix recipes a lot of people share on that website as well as um, Shakeology recipes so in Conclusion, I hope that you learned something from me about the apps that I use and why I use them and why I'm not really fond of certain ones and how to create effective collages and things that pop and say, you know, read me, share me, and come back to my page because there's going to be more like this. And I hope that this helps you feel more confident and you understand, uh, you know, how I market and how I really personalize it and don't just slap a picture up there because that has a lot to do with the people of the interest because they want something that's fun. They want something that's memorable. They, you want to, you know, take a picture or show something that makes somebody show their buddy, make sure them share it with their team or, you know, they think about throughout the day because the quote was so epic or the picture had just beautiful colors because that's what makes you stand out. So anyways, if you have any other questions, let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this.